So what is the difference between a funnel and a website? Well, it is very, very simple. The website itself, the idea there is that you have a navigation and navigate people throughout the different pages throughout the design so they can find uh, the information they need. And the funnel, it is the flow is from one page to another, to another, to another, to follow a specific flow that you want to get the people to go from. And the funnel has a, a global header, which is the navigation, obviously very important, and a global footer. And also in the website, you can have a blog, you can have a portfolio, and that's about it. Uh, obviously the e-commerce and stuff like that, but these are all the same thing for funnels. When you create a new funnel, from here, create a new funnel, then you can create a different type of funnels that you have, such as sales funnel to sell a specific product or a few set of products. And again, the idea there is to have uh, the flow to be to get people from step one to step two to step three, whatever the, the, the type of funnel it is. You can also create a home funnel, just like a normal website, but in the form of a funnel. So let's say this one, it comes with three pages. Uh, so let's say home funnel and just create a funnel like this. The funnel itself now is just like a normal website, but the only difference is that you don't have the global header on top and on the bottom just like a normal website. But still, you can have a header that is created just with a block if you want to have some kind of navigation. For example, a one page website where you have all the, uh, you know, all the navigation on top linking to a specific uh, place on the page. But the idea behind the funnel, like I said, is to get people from step one to step two to step three in this case. If it is a sales funnel from the landing to the checkout to the thank you page or to upsell. So the flow is to get the people to the different steps. In this case, you can set up the, the funnel to be just like a normal landing page for a website and have the most important call to action, which in this case is get in touch to go to the next step, which is the get in touch, a form where people can submit and contact with the business. And then you have the thank you page. This is a classic way of having a home type of a funnel instead of a website to basically have the same idea, but to get a lot more with it. Because if your main idea of the business is to get people to sign up for something, to give you a call, to sign up a form, this is the best way because all the call to actions, all the, the whole flow, gets people from the landing page to the get in touch page to the thank you page that ensures the most conversions instead of a website where you have a lot of a lot of uh, you know distractions with the header and with different call to actions but the website is obviously great if you want to have uh, the availability for people to get into the different you know pages campaigns that you might be having maybe for bigger businesses but this is an amazing way to do so so this is the main difference the headers and the footers you can still have a store you have an engage section with uh, with crm you also can have all these things and of course you don't have a block because the block is part of the website it is uh, a characteristic of a website not of, not of a funnel where the funnel obviously needs the flow and of course, a funnel can in many cases be a lot better than a website for a business because you can do the A-B testing, you get better conversion rates, which the, the business obviously needs. If it is a sales funnel, you can do A-B testing uh, on top of uh, the one-click upsells and downsells. So let's say that we build a funnel, I don't know, for a clock, like this. And you can see inside that in the sales funnel, you have obviously the landing page where you're selling a product or a set of products. And then in the funnel itself, you have the checkout. There you can add another step, which is the one click upsell and downsell, something that you cannot do usually with a normal website. But here you have this opportunity on top of the A-B testing, the conversion tracking, the OD analytics. And this is such an amazing way and you can do for many, many funnels for you and for other customers that you might have. Uh, and you can add any type of steps into your funnels, connect the domain, and just like a normal website, have all these amazing things, integrations, CRM, e-commerce, but for specific campaign or specific you know, type of thing that you want to promote. So this is the main difference between the funnels and the websites. In many cases, the funnels can be a lot better for a business. So explore what kind of needs you have your business or your customers 
to make sure that you create the best website or the best funnel for their needs.